Wow, Kev do it! I can't believe you have another totally unique video that has never been done before to show everyone today! <laughs> why yes! Yes I do! Can you fill us in on some of the details on what this video is about exactly? Well if I told you, that would spoil the surprise of it! <laughs> <laughs> right you are! And it's not like it's another video about leveling up or making money! <laughs> <laughs> right? But everybody wants to level up. Kev do it. You need to stop. And everybody likes to make gold. Kev do it. I think we're done here. No. Only done with you. No one must know the truth. Welcome everybody to yet another video to help you all achieve an amazing amount of experience as well as making you a ton of gold in the process. Now a lot of people either just focus on one thing at a time, either grinding or getting goods and golds, and you know what I say? Nay I say, I want everything at once because I am one greedy slob. Here today we will travel long and far to the land of the city of the Imperial City, which will be home in the future to the greatest warrior of all time. Yes! Oh great and mighty grand champion! The Imperial City offers the greatest variety of weapons and armor, whether that be from enemy drops, Telvar merchants, or key fragment chests. You murdered so many of my friends, you beast! I will claim the legendary gear that you drop to reimburse myself! Oh, this is just a bunch of garbage. Oh well, it'll remind me of my friend's playing skills. First off, we're gonna cover the level grinding part of this. Now before you decide to either go to the surface or to the natural habitat of the Dominion, the sewers, you need to ask yourself the question, what is more important, gaining levels or Telvar stones? Grinding in the sewers gives you about 200 to 300 CXP more per kill, but the enemies give you less Telvar stones. Well let me show you this handy dandy murder chart I wrote up. It's science time, kids! As you can see, for killing an enemy on the surface, whether that be an enemy with 100,000 health points or only around 30,000 health points, the XP gain is roughly 200 XP difference. But above the surface, you'll be gaining two times as many Telvars right off the bat. Instead of getting four, then eight, then 12 per enemy, you're starting off with eight, then 13 to 16, then 20 to 24. Same goes for the larger enemies. Instead of getting around 12, 24, and 36, you'll be getting around 24, 48, and then 70. Now the difference is also the enemy amount. The sewers clearly have more enemies, and with a partner you can easily round them up and slaughter them like a wild herd of Ebonheart Pact, brainless and unskilled fighters. The XP gain will be much greater below the surface, but the Talvar stones will rain down more heavily above. Your choice, nerd. But remember, there is only one right answer. As you make your rounds across the districts, I highly recommend that you bring one partner along with you to give you the XP bonus. Any more than one person? Well, nobody likes a third wheel. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I'm sure glad that you guys invited me to grind today. Like, totes, lol. I always knew I was a fun guy, nothing and now I'm finally that, that, being recognized for it. More, I just wanted to say that I play the same thing, thing, so I only use killer's blades and my team and, and, and I can't things, kill him. Now if you choose to feel like a filthy poor orc slob and you're down in the sewers, there's one thing that you're gonna wanna focus on. If you are just down there for the grind, in each faction's main sewers area there is a specific route to run to gain the most amount of XP. Literally all you gotta do is run in circles, clear out areas, gather as many Telvar stones as you can, useless sellable trash, is that what you think of me? Inconceivable! And as many key fragments as you can. That way you'll be level grinding and picking up good loot to sell later on. And please, for the sake of your Telvar stones and your dignity, unless you're EP or AD, in your case, knock yourself out, do not upset these giant, hulking, Daedric freak nerds that wander around the sewers. Trust me, killing them is not worth it. They can fry your little nerd self in an instant, they regain health when you die, and the rewards you get aren't even that great. Now, moving along with gaining plenty of XP and Telvar stones, you're gonna come across these handy dandy key fragments. These keys, once you've collected 60 of them, will gain you access into any of these special chest rooms around the Imperial City. Stay active in the trading guilds, figure out which chest rooms will gain you some of the most valuable items, and try to get a few good ones. I've gotten items before that have sold upwards to 150k, so please keep that in mind, you filthy beggars wanting to get rich. Now, as you're slaughtering tons of Daedra, you're gonna pause, look at your Telvar stone sack, and realize that you've got 18 thousand Telvar stones at stake. What do you do? Why, you get ganked, of course. Remember, there are pesky little gankers all over the city. Have someone to travel with you just to make things feel safer because you just never know when you're about to get ganked. When I've gathered roughly 5,000 Telvar stones, I'll try to return to my home base in the sewers to drop them off before I die. I made it. The sewers, I made it. 
That way, you're not risking a ton of Telvar stones. And remember, each district has a sewer system that is closest to your main base. For DC, it's the Elven Gardens. For EP, it's the Arena District. And for AD, it is the Temple District. Now that you've made it back without dying, you can drop off your Telvar stones, sell the loot that you don't care about, and return to the surface. Or the sewers. Whichever place defines you most. Now for those of you wanting to make money using your Telvar stones, that is, if you're not wanting any armor or junk stuff like that, uh, maybe I do just sell junk. There are a couple items in the Telvar Merchant Center that are quite valuable on the market. One of the items that is particularly wanted and paid heavily for is Hakaijo. Bless you. Shut up, Robert. Now, Hakaijo can almost guarantee you an easy 9 to 15,000 gold, but if you notice that there are specific Telvar Merchant item sets wanted on the market, it might almost be worth it to spend your Telvars on the Greater Lockbox Merchant, who can provide you with extremely expensive set pieces, depending on your luck. Hey guys, Kev doing here with a special unboxing video. Today here today with a video of an unboxing. Let's see what we get. Ho oh, ho, a silly me, better luck next time. And there you have it, grinding up your champion levels, gaining gold from selling useless garbage, and you gain lots of Telvar stones to purchase valuable armor, weapons, or Hakaijo to sell, along with opening key fragment chests that always contain potentially valuable stuff. But always remember that there was one area in the Imperial City better than all of the rest. You will gain 50,000 gold in two seconds. You will level up to CP 1000 faster than Delta can fry me in PvP. And that place is...